The WSN cameras and crew are in Lipsick, Ohio tonight for a matchup of two volleyball teams which are typically at the top of their conference and go very deep into the playoffs. It's the Lipsick Vikings and the host of the Ottawa Glandorf Lady Titans. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to do play by play alongside the North Color Commentary. Mr. Chris, Lou Holt. Chris, when you talk about these two teams, these are not teams that have season success. These are teams that have program success. Year in and year out, the varsity team is at the top of their game, the top of their leagues, and that doesn't start when the girls get to high school. You have to begin that when they're in elementary school, and uh, the idea there, the, one of the goals for any program is that the varsity wins, and then that matters a little bit less as you go down, but that's, that's the goal, and it works, and I'm sure there's a lot of people behind the scenes that are coaching the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade teams and running camps, and that what, that's what has to be done in order to have programs like this. Well, let's talk about setters a little bit today, Chris. I know you're one of those guys who says when freshmen are ready to play, you play them. But Allison Bellman is a freshman, and she will set for Ottawa Glendorf. But on the other side, Serenity Seifer, she is a senior second-team all-conference player a year ago, so the advantage certainly in experience goes with Lipsick, but a very talented freshman on the other side. Well, the advantage goes in experience, but in some ways the game knows no age, and we'll see what happens here. Um, Otto Glandorf already has three matches in. They got those in on Saturday. So I'm sure Addison Bellman already already has been nervous enough and is ready to play now as a freshman, even if, she, you know, we don't really know how nervous she was. But but if, if she was, that's, you know, she's no longer a, a, a rookie. You know, um, she's got that experience on Saturday. Plus, they just play all summer as well. Sure. Well, uh, Serenity Seifer had 30 assists in Lip Lipsick's win over Otsego on Saturday. They defeated Otsego in three sets, 25, 19, 21, and 12. Ottawa Glendorf was at the Coldwater Spike-Off Tournament. They lost their initial match to Versailles, 25, 18, 19, and Versailles went on to win the championship. Then they came back, did Ottawa Glendorf, to defeat Coldwater in three sets and Miami East in three sets. So they are two and one. Our officials today up on the stand is David Watt, and our floor official, our R2, is Sue Phillips. Of course, Lipsick now in the Northwest Conference, as well as playing in the Putnam County League, and our uh, Glendorf in the Western Buckeye League, and these teams have had great success in those two conferences. Lipsick will serve first, and that means our first server today is the libero, Elena Brown. She is a senior. There's Bellman with that set. And our first kill of the match will go to Maya Ellerbrock. Maya's a senior. She had 34 kills last weekend in those three sets. Titans take the lead. She played as a freshman, and you know, here she's a senior now. Freshman to senior on that assist. Here's Addison Bellman to serve. Here's the setter, Serenity Seifer, we talked about a moment ago. And their first kill will go to the and Asia Danzi, she also is a freshman coming off a nine kill game. We're tied at one. Well, we've had two serves and we've had uh, pass set kill. Here's Ava Henry. Off the net, that one goes. Bellman has to track it down. And then the left handed hit, and that's Sienna. That was outside the antenna. Yeah, Sienna Fry, the freshman six footer, put it outside the antenna. It's 2 1 Lipsick. Henry to serve again. It's a kill attempt. Big hit out of the middle by Casey Bruff, and that one is long. And tied at two. Coaches today, Brett Newell coaches Lipsick. Amber Miller coaches the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. This service will be Ellerbrock. Tip, and that point's going to go. That's seven. I've had Alania Jones, Olivia Jones, excuse me. Service now by Danzy. Kill was good, put away by Claudia Mag. Well, the teams are serve receiving pretty well right now. We've had uh, three putaways off serve receive, 
In other words, uh, a good service, receive, pass, set, and kill. 22 is Samantha Hazelton who just checked in. Here's the libero, Reese Van Oss. That ball is blocked with the net for a point. The libero, Elena Brown, tried to get it across, was unable to. Reese wears that knee brace on her left knee. WSN covered the game last year when she injured that in, in uh, warm-up, pre-game warm-up. Sort of goes into the net. The Titans are missing a couple of players with injury. Chloe Glenn is still out from a basketball injury. It's served by Bruff. Left-handed hit by Fry. Sienna Fry, who had 25 kills in her opening matches in the Coldwater Invite, showed you her potential. Set a freshman, set to a freshman. Here's Claire Kreischer to serve. She missed the back line. Ties it at five. It's the first missed serve of the game. Ava Henry back in. She replaces Carmen Bruff, which is served by Seifer. <laughs> Tipped over by her Miller. Another tip, that's going to be a point for Marissa Hermiller. Her team leads 6-5. See for to serve again. Second team all-conference in the Northwest Conference a year ago. Ball's blocked. Got a dig in the back row by Seifer, but it ends up being a point for the Titans. That's Eller Brock's uh, second kill. Here's Claudia Mag to serve. Claudia is a 5'7 junior. Nope, she's not going to serve as a Mary Young will serve instead. And Young serve goes long. 7'6. Comes Mag back in the game, as will Danasia Danzi. <laughs> Olivia Jones will serve this ball. <laughs> See for set. And a kill out of the middle by Marissa Hermiller. She gets her second kill. First time anybody's led by two today is Lipsick takes an 8-6 lead and Jones serves again. Seifer made that play in the back row. Her Miller off the block. Her Miller blocked that one too. And then the shot comes up short for Ellerbrock. Well, that was probably our longest volley so far. We haven't had very many long uh, volleys. There's been uh, pretty quick points. Oh, excellent approach that time by Maya Ellerbrock, and she puts that one away. She had such a good spike approach. And that's half of, uh, I don't know about half, but it's a big part of being a good hitter is just having that really good spike approach. You just repeat it over and over and over and do it. Just do it alike every time. Danzi missed. Another freshman checked in for Amber Miller's team. That's Greta Liebrich, 5'8 freshman. She wears 32. Caitlin Kimmitz, our server.
From the back row, pushed across. See for set. Kermiller missed we go 9-9. Nine, nine. Mark, we have an interesting ceiling in here. The, the ceiling is not flat straight across the same height all the way across. It's higher in the middle, and then it slopes down on both sides. So in the middle, it's got really good height, but if the ball goes up near the sidelines, it has an increasing chance of hitting something in the ceiling, rafters, or uh, looks like part of a, a baseball hitting cage. The uh, baskets on the far side of the court are in play like a ceiling. The baskets on our side of the court are over the bleachers. They are not in play. So it is kind of a different type setup. That's going to be an ace. Chalk that ace up to the libero, Brown. She had six of those against Otsego the other day. Tip. That's going to be a point. Well-placed ball by Ellerbrock. Kill number four. Doesn't it seem like she's played here like, like since they invented volleyball? Well, <laughs> she probably wouldn't like to hear that she's been around that long, but, but she has been a four-year. This is her fourth year on the varsity. She's a very athletic player. She's even done some setting in the past. Oh, another put away by... The left-handed fry. And you know how much I like left-handers on the I right do. side, but she'd be over there for four years. Good height and a nice vertical jump. Retired at 11. See for sets. Good joust at the net. The ball was pushed over, I think, by Eller Brock. Yep. Three consecutive points for her team has given them a lead. Tip. Oh, nice play by Reese Van Oss to get to that one. And that one's headed out of play. It will be a point for the Titans as well. And we're going to get our first time out. This one will go to Lipsick. They trail by two. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Flash Sports Scoreboard is covered by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Early on, two-point lead. Titans have scored four consecutive points to take this 13-11 lead. Might as well expect it to be close. The JV tonight was a three-set match. Lipsick won the first set 25-19. Ottawa Glenbrook then won 30-28 and 25-20. OG also won the freshman match in three sets. So. We might well expect close volleyball this evening as Bellman will serve. Coming out of the timeout, the hit was by Danzy. There's that left handed on the side. Two blockers got that one. Put back over by Brown. Tip this time. The tip attempt was by Henry. Freshman put it in the corner. Wasn't sure whether Santa Fry's shot was going to fall or not. It did. A few inches in, inside. Good call. Fry has her third kill. See the libero Van Oss talking with Coach Miller. And tying her shoe a little bit. Good jump set. Oh, that's blocked. I think that uh, Fry got that one too, I think. Six consecutive points. Five of them have been served by Bellman as she goes back to serve again, does Addison. Well, they're getting pretty good passing. When I say they, it's Lipsick getting pretty good passing off the serve. Ball was blocked into the antenna, I think, or who, see who hit it into the antenna. Was it the spike attempt that went into the antenna, or was it the block? And we're going to get a little conference here with... It looked to me like the block went into the antenna, but we're clear on the other side of the court. 
Season 18 of the Sports Report started Friday night. Join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around. All season long, Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. And you were correct. The block went into the antenna, so it's now 15-12 OG. And in service will be Ava Henry. And off hits it over. The ball's blocked. Point OG. Maya Ellerbrock got that one. That's uh, OG's second block for a point. Carmen Bruff will enter. And the serve will be Ellerbrock. And Ellerbrock just chopped up an ace. She had 15 aces in the three matches they played in the cold water tournament. Is that her first today? Yes. You know what she wants? She wants Maddie White's record. <laughs> Why don't you explain that one, Chris? Well, Maddie White here graduated two or three years ago. She had just an incredible top spin jump serve, and I just a tremendous jump serve and had many, many aces. There's Lipstick freshman Danzy to serve. Rolls it off the top of the net. Tip, that's going to be a point for Fry. Kill number four. Well, wait a minute. I was going to say. Was somebody in the net? I missed I, that. I missed that, too. I was writing in my score sheet, but they gave the point to Lipsick, so it's a three-point lead. That would, that would be my guess of what happened when the serve goes we'll, long. We'll have to watch the replay and uh, find yeah. out what happened there. Samantha Hazelton in to play the back row. Van Oss to serve. Four-point lead for her team. Set one. Another good pass. That's a good kill for Jones. That's her first. Olivia had eight on Saturday in the win over Otsego. We have a really nice crowd here tonight, Mark. Our, our camera shows one side of the gym, but uh, this other side here, there's just as many people on the, on the other side that you can't see on TV. In the back row, a shot that goes long. It is a good crowd on a warm gym night. Lots of students from both schools. Well, there's a couple of football teams here because I saw them in the hallway. <laughs> Fry. Good save. Jones. Nice job by Jones. Yeah. And then they run into each other and. Milo Brock couldn't get around the setter and ends up being a point for Lipsick. I think she meant to set that outside. Casey Bruff, first team all conference in the Northwest Conference a year ago, serves this ball. From behind the 10 foot line, that one went long for Elder Brock, and we're tied at 18. Four consecutive points causes Amber Miller to take a timeout. We're tied at 18. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Mark Labor Day on your calendar, the second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom All family of dealerships. The race begins at Sunnydale House, where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. We have more to celebrate as the launch of Academies in Allen East and Spencerville takes place in September. To sign up, Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com. We're tied at 18. Each team is taking the time out here in set one. Rough serve. Long. Well, the timeout worked. This is Claire Kreischer will enter and serve. Ace kind of died right on the back line and puts the Titans up too. It did. I heard somebody yell out. So, you know, if, if your teammate yells out, you let it go. 
but that ball did dip right at the last minute. Jones has to play that one. And Van Oss can't play it back here. That ball was popped over by Samantha Hazelton. She gets her first kill. Ava Henry enters. And the serve, Serenity Seifer. Shot by Mag. This one will be Jones. And then unable to get the ball over the net is Caitlin Kimmett, and we're tied at 20. Well, those middles really have to be quick. She's outside block, and then she turns around and tries to get her spike approach. She was there. I, I think if she had another chance, she would get that over. There's a kill that will go to Claudia Mag. Kill number two. This has been a game of runs. Each team has had a run of four or five points. Yeah, early on we were just trading points, but in the middle section and up through now, you're right. Here's the serve's going to be done this time by Mary Young. Good backup. It's just got across by Henry. And then off the block, his hand, the kill goes to Kimmett. 22-20, Coach Newell decides to take his second and final timeout. We're now accepting nominations for the John Reed Leadership Award. Nominate coaches in football who exemplify Christian character, humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, commitment to others, and excellent on the field. Nominations can be made at WOSN.TV and backslash John Reed. Chris, I've had a privilege of being on that selection committee since it was begun after Coach's death, and there are some outstanding coaches, can be middle school, can be JV, can be assistant coaches, obviously head coaches, but we got some really fine men in that profession in our area. Well, you just think how many coaches there are, <laughs> and then the pool to select from, that just has to be one of the more difficult things to select. It really is, and what we really appreciate is get those nominations and say something good about your guys so we have some, you know, some, some information. Don't just put, you know, Fred Schmitz on there. To tell us some things about him, what makes him uh, a John Reed leadership type person. We're back to action here. The server will be Young. Her team leads by two. Lipsick's taking both their timeouts. And she serves into the net. That's the third miss for Ottawa Glandorf. Claudia Mag enters, as does Danasia Danzi. And uh, Jones will be our server. Will be as a junior. Danzi missed the back line. Liebrecht enters with a libero stepping out. Danzi, the ball hit the tape and did came back at her. And with that, OG is in a position to win the first set. Caitlin Kimmett trying to serve this one out for her team. And that kill is by Ava Henry, and that stops the momentum for a second. And she gets her first kill. Elenia Brown will serve. And trying to put it away that time was Ella Brock, and she does. First set goes to the OG Titans, 25-22. Second set action coming up after this. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard tonight in this match between Lipsick and Ottawa Glendorf is provided by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. 
OG, first set win by three. Chris, what our stat numbers look like? Well, Otto Glandorf had 13 kills, led by Maya Ellerbrock with seven, and Sienna Fry with three. They had two ace serves, two blocks, three miss serves. For Lipsick, they had seven kills, led by Marissa Hermiller with two, and also Denasia Danzi with two. They had one ace serve, no blocks, and two miss serves. Close match throughout all the way. Lipsick had a four-point run. OG had a six-point run. And other than that, it was a back and forth a little bit each play, each way. Addison Bellman will start set two. Serving for Ottawa Glandorf. And she's going to start out with an ace. Well, just a little bit of confusion on Lipsick's side on who was to take that. Well, we got a moment. I want to thank both coaches. Sent some stuff out. How about stats and rosters? And they came back almost immediately. So it's a really good thing. We're trying to prep for these telecasts when coaches are take time out of their busy schedules to do that. Fry shots blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds, and OG gets the point. Well, especially since today was the first day of school, so I'm sure that, they were busy. Uh, that max prep for volleyball is a great sight, isn't it? Chris? Yeah, it is. When, when yep. People keep it updated. That's really good for us. Big hit out of the middle. That point's going to go to Casey Bruff. That's just her first kill today. We'll see if they try to get her the ball a little bit more in this she set. She the ball pretty well in the first set. She just you know, they were able to get it back. It's right. All. They, they've, they've played defense well against her, and she's hit maybe one or two out. Here comes Samantha Hazelton in as she replaces Danzi and will serve. Goes off a blocker, and the kill goes to Ellerbrock. Kill number eight. Isn't it nice, Chris, to hear that term, first day of school, and we don't care? <laughs> Actually, I, I always liked the first day well, of school. You know I what? really looked forward to it. I enjoyed all my years in the classroom, and I kind of miss it, too. And that's going to be an ace. Chalk that one up to uh, Ellerbrock. Playing without Chloe Glenn, playing without Katie Kaufman today. Some injury situations. Hope to get those ladies back. Another good serve. Dumped over by the setter, Seifer. Here's Ellerbrock from the back row, and it's blocked by Bruff. From, uh, she was going to get over anyway, but she was there. I had grand jury duty on the first day of school one oh. year. I, I told him I can't miss the first day of school, and she said, doesn't matter. You got to <laughs> be there, so... Here's a kill attempt. That one's going to go to Mag. I always like to see them. You know, you have them as freshmen or sophomores that come back in juniors and seniors and see how much they have matured as people. I, I've always. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. Of course, the scariest thing when you teach sophomores is they're getting their driver's license yeah. while you're teaching them. That's <laughs> that goes into the net. Five three. OG. Seifer to serve. That's hard to say. S Serenity Seifer. There Seifer. you go. That's even harder. <laughs> Set. Tip. Nice kick by Van Oss. Van Oss got Van to Oss. that one. There's Fry. And she puts it away. Uh, Sienna's fifth kill. Price to serve. Good line drive serve. Get it back over though by scrambling around. Bach. And from the back road trying to put that one away with Ellerbrock and does not. Well, good point for Lipsy. They had to tra uh, track down that first ball and they ended up getting the point. Olivia Jones turned to serve. Will attack again. Dumped across by Dansby. Danzy. 
And an oh, oh shot will get a point. Kimmett rolled that one over. Three point Titan lead. Audio Mag to serve this one. Good kill. That was put away by her Miller. That's her third kill. She leads Lipsick in that department. Lipsick will play on Thursday night this week. They will go to Delphus St. John's. Next Monday, they will be at Tenora. It should be a pretty good match. Yeah. Tenora was in the state tournament not too long ago. Mag tried to block that one, or excuse me, tried to block Mag's shot and was not able to. 8-5. Then on a week from tonight, on Tuesday the 30th, Lipsick will begin NWC play when they host Columbus Grove. Good play. She forgot Good to hustle. That was yeah, great man. hustle. How about that? Great hustle. She ran all over the place and finally set Bruff really well. Yep. So on uh, Tuesday the 30th, open up NWC play with Grove. Then on the 1st of September, they open up uh, Putnam County League play when they go to Pandora Gilboa. That's got to be tough playing in two leagues. Oh, I, I cannot imagine doing that. All right. There's an ace. Chalk that one up to Camp Carmen Bruff, the well, freshman. Well, we had the husband and wife serve receive over there, Mark. <laughs> no no commu communication. <laughs> yeah. yeah, had a couple times in each team this way. And then a nice top spin hit by Maya Ellerbrock. It's kill number 10. Well, we change bodies. The Titans begin Western Buckeye League play this week. They have a uh, Wapak at home this week. Next Thursday, they go to Elida. And then on Saturday, September 3rd, WSM will be at their match in Marion Lothar. That should be good. I would think. And Oop. it didn't go. Tried to touch it over and just couldn't quite. Three point lead, Titans. Structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Both of these teams are not afraid of playing the best teams in the area. And that's going to be an ace. Float serve across, picks up a point. That's Bellman's second ace. She will serve again. Got the short serve covered now. And she tried to go to the back corner and missed that. That's OG's fifth miss serve. Hasn't hurt him too much, though, Mark. No. Nope. Even with the five misses, got three-point lead. Then Asia Danzi, the freshman, will serve. She had a couple of aces in the win over Otsego. It's a left-handed hit from this side by Sienna Fry. Titans go up four, and... As has happened throughout the match, Samantha Hazelton will move in to play back row for Danzi. Ellerbrock will serve this ball. Top spin on that one. Jones blocked in the net. That block was put away by Fry. And our first time out in set two will go to Lipsick. We're going to break also Vikings Trail by Five. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. What questions do you have about life and about God, about things happening in your community or family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions each week. Four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions is on TV 44 Sundays at 1.30 and Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. And you can also find it online at WTLW.com. Brett Newell takes a timeout. His team has not scored more than two consecutive points here in set number two. 
Titans have scored five out of the last six points and hope to keep that run going after the timeout. He was giving some very clear directions to his girls, and they were all looking right at him. And I saw, you know, the leaders, Bruff and Brown, were both nodding in agreement. Yeah. And so what happened? Bruff comes out and drills one off a blocker for yep. a point. Starts with the pass. This is Casey Bruff, senior. Nine kills in their opening match. That was against Otsego. Ooh, that was a good serve. Yes, it was. Here's Mag, tip. And Mag, did she miss the sideline or not? What do we got? I believe somebody was in the net. The signal was number 11. If it is, that would be Marissa Hermiller. She's saying, what, what, me? I wasn't even close. That's blocked. Blocked out. It was blocked out. Jones picks up her second kill. Lipsick needs a run. Trailing by three. Chris, is it, is it difficult to, you don't usually see a lot of left-handed hitters and, and ones that, is it something you're not used to seeing right now, part of Lipsick's problem? Well, you don't see left-handed hitters, but, um, you know, when the ball is set, you follow the ball until it reaches its peak. I'm talking with the blockers now, and then the blockers need to pick up the hitter, but they just have to be aware that she's a left-handed hitter and get over on that shoulder. There's her Miller comes back with a kill for her team. Part of it is that she hit that ball just cross court and, and pretty hard. That's well, she's obviously to, talented. Yeah, I'm thinking more. You you looked at that right side, uh, or, or, you know, left side hitter with a right-handed player more often, and just kind of unusual. That overpassed it. It was not going to get up to the net. Two consecutive points for Lipsick. Jones first ace. Mag hits that one in. You know, also on that country. point, if your setter can disguise the set, sometimes that middle hitter gets leaning toward her right, and if the setter can fake out that middle hitter, then it'll be a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside over there. With One-on-one -on -one means one hitter against just one blocker as opposed to two. Jones from behind a 10-foot line. Tip. What a diving effort by Seifer, but not quite good enough as the point goes to Maya Ellerbrock. She was right there and popped the ball up, but she only popped it up about a foot, so not but a great effort. It was a great effort. Claudia Mag will serve this ball, her team leading by four, and that serve goes long. The libero, Lania Brown. Seifer sets, rough hits, out. Lipsick wanted a touch, but no see. one saw no, it. Nobody had it. Kimmett will serve this ball. Double hit. We haven't had many ball handling errors today. I believe that's the first one. I was trying to think of another one. Five point lead now, Titans. And what do we got? Well, this time we have a Titan in the net. That looks like 23, and that would be my other Brock. All of a sudden, we got people in the net, people hitting yeah. it out. Ava Henry will serve this ball. That point will go to Maya Ellerbrock. You know, she passed that. 
serve and she's standing in the you know near the top of the key or right in there between the foul line and the top of the key made that pass came all the way around to the left side got a good spike approach picks up kill number 11 there's Bellman Seifert just dumps it across really nice effort but a good play by Van Oss and then what do we got this time we have another well, another, Lipsick player in yeah, the Lipsick net. Lipsick and a player in the net. They caught uh, Seifer. <laughs> and OG's up by six, trying to win set two. Seifer sets. Bruff hits. She missed the sideline that time. She's just missing over there, isn't she? I don't mind her aiming for that. She no. goes cross court or straight on a lot of times, and and uh, those last two hits were just barely out. So she was very close to having two kills. Oh, and that's an unfortunate play. Well, the serve hit yeah. Jones on the foot. She called out and was, was following it with her eyes all the way, tracking it, but the ball just grazed off her foot or maybe her ankle. Eight-point tight lead. That one is out. Miss serve number seven for Ottawa Glandorf. Speaking of uh, missed serves, we haven't. Uh, oh, we're gonna, I thought we were going to get a trade here. I was waiting for that to take place. Samantha Hazelton is going to replace uh, Danzy. Tip over. Hazelton bumps it across. Free ball. And then the kill right in the middle by Greta Liebert. And Titans in a place to win set number two. Eight-point lead. Ellerbrock. Rough in the middle. That ball blocked, and AG will win. Set number two by nine this time, 25-16. Set three coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is covered by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt. So that Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. OG wins the first two sets this evening. Chris, what kind of stat numbers you have? Well, in set number two, Ottawa Glandorf had 12 kills and four aces. Uh, Maya Ellabrock had four kills, and Sienna Fry had four. And Addison Bellman, the setter, had three of the four aces, um, two blocks, and four missed serves. So the four aces and four missed serves sort of balanced out there. For Lipstick, they had seven kills and two aces. Uh, Her Miller, two kills. And uh, Casey Bruff with three kills. And they had no blocks and just uh, no miss serves. Important for Lipson to get off to a good start here in uh, set number three. Yeah, I think it's very important because, you know, you get down four or five points, it's, it seems even tougher to come back against a good team like Ottawa Glandorf. So, uh, so sure, yeah, you want them to, you know, get to 10 first, maybe get to 18 first, that kind of thing. Just looking back over my set two uh, score sheet, Lipsick never scored more than two consecutive points in the set. Well, Ottawa Glandorf is passing serve pretty well. Of coming off a... Uh, Uh-oh, looks like we have a... Yeah, lineup a situation. Lineup, what do we got uh, here? I'm going to check and make sure we have the correct one. While we're doing that, check out our website, wsn.tv, for scores and standings. For more sports and teams than anyone else in the state, check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. So we're going to have a conversation between our officials. Sue Phillips is our R2 on the floor. David Watt is our R1 up on the stand. Not sure what the discussion's about. Something about the lineup card, though, wasn't it? Well, if you... If the coach writes the lineup down wrong on the car, on the paper he turns in, the players either have to get in that order, which could disrupt things, or um, is what's, what, what can, 
can he change what, it, or what? What happens there if he? No, he has to play them. He has to play him in that order. Yeah, play him in that order. Yeah. And the reason it matters is you want your, for example, your left side outside hitters to be opposite each other. You want your middle hitters to be opposite each other. And if you get that off one, it can be, uh, it can disrupt your play quite a bit, actually. But it looks like it's settled. Okay, so serving set three will be Samantha Hazelton. Server short. And immediately popping up off the bench is Sienna Fry. And she will replace Claire Kreischer. Yeah, you can see some of the Vikings looking around like uh, who's where right here. Bumped over by Bruff. Blocked by Bruff. Blocked again by Bruff, and she had to hit the ball twice or would hit the floor. She can play it once if it doesn't come to rest, but not twice. As long as that block occurs above the height of the net. Second serve. And Bruff gets a kill that time. Well, she went that left side again, only this time she kept it in. She picks up her fourth kill. She likes to go that way. She just was off a, a fraction earlier in the match. That got a point for her. Now she gets to serve, does Casey Bruff. <laughs> Set going to be for Jones. Olivia goes off the block, but Mag plays it in the back row. That stumped across by the setter, Bellman. And that hit the antenna. A bump set went out just a little bit too far outside for Jones. She tried to tip it in, but she was so far out there, ball hit the antenna. Maya Ellerbrock with 15 aces last Saturday in the three matches down at the Coldwater Spike Off. And that serve will go long. I think that toss was a little bit too far out in front of her, and she had to hurry up her approach, her serve approach. Now she is allowed to let the ball hit the floor. Yes, she and is. Asked for a replay. Yep. But she chose to hit it, and obviously didn't help her. Sydney Schrader will enter. She's a senior. Sydney serves this ball. Good service from her. And Barrow was able to play that one. Was Brown. Schrader hits that one across to hit wide. This is Reese Van Oss to serve. Looks like Schrader is in the game to set. This is the trade we've seen often here. Danzy plays the front row. Hazelton plays the back row, so Danzy will move in now. And uh, Olivia Jones serves. Bellman sets that one, and Mag hits, but right to down. And then the kill will be chalked up by Marissa Hermiller. And that's her fifth kill tonight. Jones will serve again. Trying to get three consecutive points. And serve so missed. Second miss this set for Lipsick. Pressure enters. Clara will go back and serve. One of the three seniors on this Ottawa Glendorf team, actually four seniors on the Ottawa Glendorf team. Kreischer, Chloe Glenn, Reese Van Oss, and Maya Ellerbrock. Make up the senior class. There are six Lipstick Viking seniors. And that shot goes long. Played that one, has to be saved, but can't. Seven four. Well, the score didn't change on the scoreboard yet. Oh, 
Oh, Ooh. rolled it over. That's an ace the hard way by Kreischer. Well, and you can't practice that. You know, the ball yeah. just slipped over. There's nobody there. You can't practice defending that. I have the score at 8-4. Maybe I made a mistake on my page. Big hit. Oh, they saved it, routed around, and Edelbrock got it across. Danzi hit that one. And it's going to get over. It's not. Nope. So that's going to be a point for Ottawa Glandorf. Well, either they, yeah. when it was six to four, uh, yeah. it either should have been five to four on the board or they missed putting a point up. Well, either way, the scoreboard says 8-4. We're going to roll with that one. And there's a missed serve. Makes it 8-5 in favor of the Titans. Now, now they got 9-5 on the board, so we were right. <laughs> Tip. And what do we got? Hit the net. Nine six. She hit the net trying to. Yeah, she tried she to. Got into it. Right? Yep, tried to yeah. tiptoe back out of it, but. Uh, right in front of our. Right in front of the stand, uh, Mr. David Watt. Yep. Reese Van Oss has good footwork on serve receive. Mag scores that one. It's her sixth kill. Structure out the Ohio scoreboard is 10 6 in favor of the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Let your structure outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Seems like they missed a lot of serves tonight. Well, they've missed um, 10. And we're just part way into set three here. A couple of subs coming in. Seifer's back in. Leah Kirkendall will enter. She wears number six. Plays in the front row. Kill at the front by Kimmett. Caitlin Kimmett gets one. Just her second kill. And it's a five point lead. Four point lead, excuse me, 11 7. Now I wrote it down wrong. Here's Kimmett, sophomore to serve, middle hitter. Bruff. Touch, it was. She picks up her fifth kill. That time she. Hit it straight. She's been hitting it to the left. Got a kill the last time she went to the left. This time she hit it straight on. Danzy serve. That was a nice floating serve. Yep. Yeah. Kirkendall tried to set the ball, got into her hands a little bit too long, came out in the wrong manner, and she gets caught for a Ball handling error, four point lead for the Titans as Bellman serves. Pretty steady freshman. I like to watch her play. Doesn't play like a freshman. No, she does not. Rough tips. Played at the net, however. It's going to be Ellerbrock, and that's going to be blocked at the net by Bruff for a point. Talk about freshmen and heady players. We've got Ottawa Glendorf from Wapak football Friday night, and the Wapak and the Redskins are led by a freshman quarterback, Caleb Moyer. Nice pass. Bellman set, and that's going to be a point that goes to Ellerbrock. It's like your first start of your varsity career be at Marion Local, the defending <laughs> state champion and 12-time state champions. Why not? He acquitted himself very well. As a matter of fact, they've got Ottawa Glandorf this week on WOSN. And you have that game? Uh, I do not. I will okay. be in uh, uh, Marion uh, again this week, however, but this time they match up with the Macomb Panthers. Looking That's become that. a nice... Uh, Pre-conference match, I, those I really two. I like those. Those teams like, you know, Wapak and Marion and, and uh, well, in this case, Macomb, who go out and challenge themselves early in the season. So there's a big hit. 
How many times have we seen the uh, the freshman Fry do that this evening? Well, she's got eight kills, so at least eight times. Yeah. Maybe not always a kill. Maybe, probably hit probably hit about twice that many uh, attempts. Ball hit out of the middle by Rissa Hermiller. It's blocked out of bounds. The point will go to the Vikings. She's got six kills, and she leads the Vikings in that area. If you're looking to watch more volleyball, we'll be at the Parkway Invitational on Saturday, and we'll be airing some of those matches on Sunday evening. There's a kill by... Fry again. Chris, I had yeah, There was a touch there, yeah. Was there? Yep. Oh, I missed that. Okay, nope. so, so it's a kill, yep. Okay. I had somebody say, hey, you told me that volleyball from Coldwater would start at 5 p.m. Sunday. Well, at that point in time, we didn't know every match was going to go three sets. It actually started at 4.30 on uh -huh. the station just to get them all in by 7 p.m. So that makes it 15-12 as we kind of go back and forth here with points. And that is the 12th miss. You know, and all, although Ottawa is playing well and scoring lots of points, I think that is going to have to be addressed in practice. That's just a little, a few, that's, that's too many misses. That gets that one over. Danzy. Well, the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The last 14 points have been serve and lose your serve. Nobody's been able to put two consecutive points together. This is Marley Bodemeyer. Marley's a freshman. She's been setting for a long time, and her serve went into the net. She was one of the key players in that JV game. She takes a seat. Claudia Mag will replace her. And at the same time, a couple of changes on Lipsick's side that brings Serenity Seifer in to serve. Tip point. Kimmett. It's her second kill on set three. Deep serve, gonna be played back there in the back row, and then Bruff has to bump it across. You really like that that spike approach by Elbrock, don't yep. you? Yep. Gets her feet set. Scramble, not able to make a play. That kill is gonna go to Lipsick. And back and forth we go as we have the last uh, 16, 17 points now. Danzy to serve. Well, you know, if you're Lipsick, if you can have that score tied right around the 20-point mark, we could be heading for game number four. There's a kill. Chalk it up to Maya Ellerbrock. 13th kill. And we go from three to four and back to three to four. Here's the freshman, Addison Bellman, to serve. Float serve. See for sets. Bruff and Bruff gets a kill. She likes kill going that way, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Kill number three in this set. And back to serve. There's Casey Bruff. And it's in. Put it right on the back line, did Ellerbrock. Well, you talked about Lipsick going to try to get it right around 20, but now we're at the point where if OG puts together a three or four point run, they can close this one out. They yeah. lead by four now. So hard to come back, come from behind with Rally scoring. Set. This will be Mag. And she clobbers one. Five point lead. That's her seventh kill. Structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Ellerbrock to serve. Play 
play by Van Oss. Fry. Another kill for her. Here comes OG. They scored four consecutive points back in the middle of the early part of the set. Now they've got three in a row looking at four. Well, they can trade points now. Jones. Fry. Seven point lead. That's her 11th kill. She has just been deadly over there. And she had some really nice sets, though, from Bellman. Nice hit. That's going to be a point for Lipsick. Stop the string at five consecutive. That's Kirkendall's second kill in this set. Back to serve will be Sidney Schrader. Lipsick needs a run. Bellman. Van Oss sets Fry off a blocker this time. Jones hits. And Fry again. She picks up her fifth kill in this set alone. I think Coach Newell's asking about uh, when Bellman yeah. tipped that ball over. She was, she's a back row player, and when she tipped that ball over that was close to the net, looked like that ball might have been completely above the net. He questioned the R2. The play is going to stand. Van Oost to serve. Clock. Ottawa Glander Titans. A point away from winning three straight sets here at Lipsick. Van Oss trying to serve it out. Jones hits. Mag missed the back line. Lipsick stays alive. Olivia Jones will serve. Well, actually, she's not going to serve because Carmen Bruff will serve for her. Carmen's a freshman wearing number 13. Fry was played. That's still going to be a point. And the uh, Ottawa Glander Titans will take a third set 25-17 victory. That will go along with a set one win of 25-22 and a set two win of 25-16. They will go to three and one on the season with Western Buckeye League play coming up on Friday night when they, or on Thursday night when they match up with the Wapakoneta Redskins. Bet Newell's team, the Lipsick Vikings, will drop to one and one on the season, and they will be at Delphi St. John's on Friday night. Final stat numbers, Chris? Ottawa Glandorf ended up with 38 kills, eight assists in set three. Uh, Sienna Fry had six kills to lead uh, to lead Ottawa Glandorf, and Maya Ellabrock ended up with three in that set. Overall, she had 14 to lead. The Titans, they had eight ace serves, three of them by the freshman setter, Addison Bellman. Uh, four blocks and 13 missed serves. But they were over to, able to overcome that uh, with their other play. So Lipsick had uh, 21 kills overall. They had three ace serves. In kills, they were led by Casey Bruff with six and Marissa Hermiller, the other middle hitter also had six, and they had uh, three A serves, one block, and four miss serves. As always, Chris, appreciate your stat work and your commentary. We want to thank the athletic director, Mr. Gary Kreinbrink. Thank our sponsor tonight, too. That has been Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt. We want to thank our crew. That would be Megan Sherrick, Lexi Waddle, and Olivia Yates. Nick Freilich will edit this back at the station. Stay tuned for just a moment. We're going to try to corral Amber Miller from the victorious Ottawa Glendale Titans and get her on camera. If we can't, we're back in just a moment. You're watching High School Volleyball on WSN.
We're back at Lipsick with the winning Ottawa Grand North coach, Amber Miller. Amber, how'd your team play this evening? Good. Um, I'm really happy and proud with how the girls played tonight. Um, we had a couple younger players really step up and um, put some balls away for us, and it's always good to see from those young girls. Well, let's talk about those two young girls because you have a freshman setter and a freshman hitter, and they both played extremely well tonight. Yep, our freshman setter, Addie Bellman, um, and then our freshman out opposite, Sienna Fry. They're both very tough. They have a great connection, and uh, when they get going, they're pretty hard to stop. So. But you've also got somebody named Maya Ellerbrock, and when you need a point, you can go to her too. Oh, absolutely. When we need a side out, Maya is the girl to get the ball to. Um, she's very crafty, and she's very smart about where to go, and um, Maya never gives up. She's a hard worker. Well, you're 3-1 and one heading into Western Buckeye League play. Where's your team at right now? How do you feel about your team? I feel good. We need to get back in the gym and work on a few things, as always. You know, it's very early in the season. Um, so our list, our to-do list of things to get better on is still pretty long. Um, but we're excited to get into w, WBL play here with Walpock on Thursday. Well, you mentioned some things about things to work on. You missed some serves tonight. Kind of a risk-reward type thing, though. Yeah, we want to serve aggressive. Um, I don't know if we want to miss our first serve that much, but but um, we definitely do want to serve aggressive. We're okay with some missed serves, um, but probably not seven in a set. <laughs> well, you mentioned you got the Wapakoneta Redskins coming up on Thursday. How do you view the Western Buckeye League this year? It's tough. Um, you know, Wapak, Salina, um, they are both got a lot of good teams and, or good players back this year. Uh, the WBL is not, not going to be easy to win this year. So. Hey, Amber Miller, Ottawa Glander, if they defeat Lipsick tonight in three sets, you've been watching High School Volleyball on WSN.